Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yes, today is Friday and today... What are we doing? It's the same thing we do every day, Pinky. Take over the fragrance world! <laughs> no, no, we'll park that for later. Today we are sniffing fragrances. The same thing we do every Friday. So, welcome. Take a seat, relax, and let's just enjoy the world of fragrance for a moment. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful week or a wonderful day. And you smell wonderful. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh, you're going to smell better after this. Now, today, as the title suggests, we are taking a look at one of the brands that we've covered previously on this channel, and that is Richard James Savile Row. And if you have viewed those videos, you will know that Richard James is a London based tailor on Savile Row. And to complement their fine tailoring, you know, super sharp cuts, they have a range of fragrances. And this isn't new to them. The guys at Richard James have produced fragrances in the past. And it's good to see that they're continuing that trend. And in this case, over the last two years uh, or at least last year I think it was 2020 you know 2020 just went so fast <laughs> I don't know if it was last year or the year before um, a new range of fragrances landed from Richard James and we've looked at some already and I thought hey why not look at another so let's look at this together let's make that old what we do let's make that uh, thumbnail Let's just get, I mean, we're going to get into this today because we're going to spend good, some good time sniffing this one out. So this is Richard James Black Vanilla Aqua Aromatica. And just for information's sake, this is the box. All of the Richard James Aqua range come in a box like this. They're all color coded. This one in, in this case is has this kind of black accent to it and this lovely box you've noticed the previous two had one had a green and one had a kind of like an orange uh, accent on them and they all they kind of like depicts the the main essence of those flavors which was one was spices and tangerine and one was grass and greenery so uh why don't we just kick off i was going to say a bit more but i thought you know what the best thing about this is sniffing and enjoying and kind of like painting pictures when we sample these fragrances here and I say we because I like to think that we're going through this together and um, well let's just kick off as you know if you see my previous videos I really like these bottles I think they're simple they're elegant they're sharp I like the kind of way that the, the light bounces off of these and you know there's something um, I don't know there's something just very masculine about these you know broad shoulders you, you you'll see it on your shelf i don't know i, I don't know why i why this sim, such a simple bottle appeals to me so much i don't know i think there's something traditional about it there's um an element of it, it's substantial in the hand you know it, it if it's on your shelf it kind of gives you this this feeling of yeah you know what that's a nice bit of gloss <laughs> i have no idea why i react in the way i do i think that it could be the traditional programming that i've grown up with over the years where lots of scents used to come in just in blocks of glass and especially if you've come across richard james previous bottles you'll know that they're a bit odd uh, one of his most popular ones had a bit of a dimple in it, whereas this is just straight back to traditional dimensions. All the bottles look the same in the range, uh, but they all have their own accents. This one has a black accent. So that didn't work. <laughs> anyway, let's try this. And while that feel wow, while that fills the room, I'm feeling quite jovial today. I had a I've had a, a tough, I want to say a tough week, but a very busy week considering everything that's going on. 
and uh, I'm glad it's Friday and running your own business I have to say the kind of week weeks don't have days and days don't have time and there's no demarcation you know it, it just tends to become a very long day uh, so it, what, what I always say and I'm probably going to put this on a t-shirt is that running your own business you're uh, you're not afraid of Mondays and you're basically not looking forward to Fridays because you're all doing your own thing so um today it's one of those days where it's not that i'm glad that it's friday because i kind of work 24 7. uh i'm i'm just super vibed up i'm just happy chilled uh enjoying making the best out of the situation that we're in and just kind of in i don't know I just feel good today really good so uh and this fragrance is one of those fragrances that when I've worn it, it has had a very positive impact, uh, not only on how much I enjoy it, but the compliments I get. So this is already a very positive fragrance and uh, based on my my tests. And now taking a good whiff, I mean, it has, it, it, like all fragrances do, they, they kind of fill the room. And, but in this case, I'm just gonna give you an idea of how this dis disperses. It's it hasn't got a long draw on on the um, vaporizer it's got a short draw so it's kind of quite quick harsh but it's got a good spread so this one really goes if you were to spray it on yourself you probably get it from here to here quite easily and when you are applying fragrance i would highly suggest that you put it on obviously your neck uh your wrist and if you can apply it to the back uh of your neck Primarily because these are kind of warm points on the body and they, they pulsate and they get warm and they kind of heat up the oils in, in a fragrance. So, uh, and that heat causes the, the fragrance to kind of react with, with you and the environment and it kind of becomes a bit more you. Uh, and Okay, I'm going to get back to that, but right now... <sighs> This is a super nice fragrance. I already like this fragrance. So there's there are fragrances that I don't enjoy. So let's get this straight. You know, I don't necessarily like everything. But this is a fragrance that when I received the sample, I wore religiously for like a month. <laughs> like every day. It was just like I'm just gonna get a bit more of that on. Um and I I think it's because vanilla isn't used a lot. In, as, as far as my knowledge goes, isn't used a lot in um, men's fragrances. You don't get, in my experience, I don't think I've got any fragrances that have a, a vanilla lead. Now this is vanilla. I don't believe there's a plant or, or anything in here that actually is derived from anything called black vanilla. The very, this is made up. <laughs> And, oh, when you think of vanilla, you think of, you know, this kind of like very feminine, creamy, uh, kind of sugary sweetness. Uh, but, because whenever I think of vanilla, I don't necessarily think of the vanilla pod immediately. You say to me vanilla, and I think of vanilla ice cream. And when I was growing up, and it just looked like this ball of yellow stuff but then the older you get and the more mature you get you realize that vanilla <laughs> isn't necessarily yellow um but this is a very very elegant vanilla and what i mean by that is obviously it's not completely vanilla there are there are spicy uh, more traditional notes that that are are that travel through this fragrance so, okay, let's say we've got that vanilla side, but that vanilla has somehow been, um, the, the, the overpowering, or could be seen as overpowering, overbearing vanilla has been tamed by something else. I think it's patchouli. And patchouli is used a lot in male fragrances. And I like patchouli. So you've got all that going on. 
and then there's this there's this earthy charred nature to it and to me i think it's because it comes down to my experience with with whiskey now is that it's kind of like the inside of a charred barrel so you've got this sweetness you've got this patchouli kind of like oiliness then you've got this spicy charred woodiness and they all come together to create a very very masculine scent and not like an overbearingly masculine scent it's not gonna it's not gonna hit you in the face and you go like i'm a man no it's not like that and i'm here no it's it's very very sophisticated oh you know what let's try to paint a picture okay so this this is something and it might sound like a really really big statement and compliments to the guys at richard james really this is a fragrance i think bruce wayne would wear yeah so you know when he's he's out and about and being bruce wayne the playboy the 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 ladies man the kind of like party goer the you know that that bruce wayne where he turns up and he's wearing he's wearing a bow tie he's just jumped out i don't know what would he drive a lambo is way way too showy but this would be an aston martin is too james bondy james bondy <laughs> what car do you think bruce wayne would drive it needs to be black obviously There's something very classic about this. Bruce Wayne would show up, velvet jacket, bow tie, red carpet, Clash, classic Porsche, I think. Black classic Porsche in this kind of, I don't know, with a black, piano enamel finish like everything this is slick but classic it's not in your face and it's it turns more subtle it it starts fresh and vanilla and kind of spicy and it turns into something masculine which is patchouli which is oily which is charred probably even a hint of fruitiness in there somewhere there's this is like i said when i first when i started wearing this i didn't even know why i liked it i just liked it and it if there was ever a scent for a man that was i mean there's, there's obviously be loads of these sort of scents out there but if there was ever a scent for a man in my collection which i think is kind of like a power scent like you want to put this on and you want to go out and you want to be bruce wayne for the day i think it could be this one you know i i i really really do i i like this one a lot it's the way it changes and i'm gonna do something i don't usually do i'm just gonna spray this again Yeah, see, look, there it is. It's an, it, it's initially this kind of like flowery vanilla. And then while it evaporates, you've got this spicy, oily, kind of like pheromone 
edge to it. There's something in this fragrance that is very, very, very appealing. And I think if we, <laughs> there's another one. If if we were if if we were saying, hey, vanilla is feminine, and whatever else is going on in here, like patchouli, the 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 charredness and all that sort of wonderful stuff is masculine. What's happening? It's almost like the masculine is is taming the feminine. Like it's they're so complementary. It they're coming together to to produce something that works, which traditionally doesn't happen with vanilla so um i don't know how much more i can say i i mean i love the scent <laughs> i'm just gonna put this on tonight for the sake of it why not uh and just take it in now i, I want to hear your opinion on this have you have you tried any of the richard james fragrances if you haven't have you tried any fragrances that are masculine that have a vanilla edge and what are your usual or what are your thoughts on them do you like them not like them have you ever thought like he you know as a man i don't really like vanilla if you'd have give me your thoughts and as always i'm gonna put this down now because i'm getting carried away as always we do these fragrance fridays because we're here because we enjoy fragrances and we do them because we're trying not to be snobby about fragrance you know it's not about the snobbiness and it's with everything that i do i try to cut through all that kind of snobby upper stiff upper lip whatever you want to call it that upper middle class notion of fragrances and whiskey and all that or everything this is about just the pure passion enjoyment and love of fragrance and various other things on this channel so if you are enjoying this content don't forget hit the subscribe button if you don't feel like subscribing no biggie but give it the plum hit that like button ping i'm not sure what sound it makes if it makes any apart from that have a wonderful weekend whatever you're doing wherever you are and I shall see you next week. If not on Wednesday, I'll probably see you sooner. Uh, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye bye.